Greetings, travelers. I'm Michael. Welcome to MTJ Disorder's first time playthrough of Dragon Age The Veil Guard. During the launch day livestream, we essentially made our way through the introduction, and when we last left off, we had just met up with the Veil Jumpers and were introduced to our latest companion, Balara. Not much has happened so far, we're just going to jump right back into it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you enjoy. All right, let's just jump back into it. Continue. Okay, we'll need a boat to get there. Let's head to the dock. We'll need help. Agreed. Where's the merchant? Better than by the minute. Is there nobody I can interact with? Ah, oh, here we are. What you hear about Demeter's crossing? There's not a lot of interact like NPCs that you can interact with. Don't be shy. Take a gander. Take a gander. I'm going to sell a bunch of crap. I don't know if I need any of this, so I'm just going to junk it all for now. Let's see what we can buy, though. I do want something new. It'd be nice to have a new two-handed weapon. We already have this, I think. No, it says current item, Fade, fade Touched War Axe. Will become a Fade Touched War Axe. Oh, so I already have that, then. And now that we've met... Do your best not to die, yeah? Yeah. It can be rough out there. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. If it gets too rough, just come back and I'll square you away with better bits and bobs. See ya. I do like Rook. I like his characterization so far. Let's go and upgrade these companions, because I got you a brand new bow, Bellara. Ev. Oh no, it must be for Harding. Yes, it was a bow. I don't think Nev has anything new she can equip. Certainly don't think I do. There's just that jumper's death leathers, which doesn't really help my character. It said I already had that fade axe or whatever. Oh yeah, there it is. Maybe I... I think I know what happened. I think I bought it into my inventory without realizing I clicked on it. I wasn't sure. Alright, well, we've got a little bit of an upgrade. And that war axe does kind of look badass. It looks a lot better than the stupid wooden mallet we were using. Alright, travel to Demeter's Crossing. Let's go! Sounds like a lot happened here. What hasn't happened? This area is where Tevinter Magisters destroyed Arlathan City centuries ago. A whole lot of blood magic during the war. And now? Whatever Solus did stirred up everything again. The old blood magic from the war never went away. Ancient relics appear out of thin air. Ruins float. It's like an old wound that never healed. And now it's bleeding again. Oh, I don't know if I want to go into this bubble, into this instance yet. I want to go look around. What have you? Yeah. That was the capital Damn. city, Arlathan. This is what's left of it after the war. I don't imagine it floated back in the day. All right, just taking in the scenery. I can't swim, can I? So I guess this is a bit of a dead end. Got no choice but to... Oh, look how, how gorgeous those water effects are. Wow. Ooh, there's the pedestal there. Take my little floating orb lock key thingy. Oh, we got it. Nice. Loot. All right, I guess we got to go in. These are cool, creepy though. People have been turned into wood or something. Alright, you can't put this tantalizing cave on my right and not expect me to look inside. Oh. Ah, that's cool. I have been able to initiate a shortcut. Open on the boxes. 
Oh, good job there isn't any friendly fire. Because I would have just taken off Neve's head. Neve, Nev. Keep wanting to say Neve because of Rupert Neve. Hey, Harding. Oh, we got some choices. I'm gonna take notes. Harding, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. I need to get back in the fight. Then let's go. Short but sweet. I've never seen fog this thick in Demetta's Crossing. This isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market, bartering and shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Uh, obviously, Nev. Stay sharp. Demeter's crossing. Remember that one. Okay, let's see what we got. It's so quiet. Too quiet. Why are you Where all walking? Is everybody? Can I toggle walk? It's usually Zed in Bioware games, but it doesn't look like it. Zed is to unsheath. It's market day. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread. But everything's just abandoned. They barricaded the main entrance into town. There's blight in there. I can feel it. Be careful. We've got blight. That's those, like, zombie-like things. I think we can get How do I jump here? again? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. This shit. It's life. Even worse than the forest. Oh, Everyone hey. Everyone in. Mustn't let anyone out. You okay? What happened here? Keep them inside. Listen to the mayor. Hello? I don't think he can hear us. Oh, that's gruesome. Check out the body on the wall. They've been absorbed. It's very much like the flood. We'll be rewarded. All of us. Oh. Everyone that's has so cool. to stay. That's gross. No. I like it. can't leave. Hey, can you hear me? Just stay here and everything will be fine. Uh, Rook looks unfazed. Someone used powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. Well, it's a good thing I brought a powerful magician of my own, eh? That was uncalled for. Must loot everything. The town square. We need to search for survivors. Let's see what we can find. Fan out. Fan out. Guys, that's not fanning out. <laughs> well, Nev gets... She understood the assignment. This is Adeline. Oh, no, it's Ballara. I knew her. She was a farmer. Sold spices to us. The best in Arlathan. I can't believe this happened. Well, I mean, it's obviously not good. Just learning what that. these things are. Look at what, Nev. Is... That's an Aravel on the roof. The blight must have lifted it up there. An Aravel? What the hell's an Aravel? If I knew what that was, I could answer you. It's obviously this big giant thing here. Oh! I'm walking through the blight and I'm like getting... It's like attaching itself to me. Maybe I'm not taking damage, but maybe I need to avoid doing that. This blight is weird. Never seen anything like it. Never. Blight's usually dead, static, but this is alive. You really sounded like Liara okay, there for a second. Going. Might be more survivors. Might be. There's not a lot of things you can explore. I mean, I know this is like a dungeon instance, whatever, but 
half of these doors, they're just so tantalizing, I want to go see what's inside. There's nothing. Even if I just open it up to look. It's not actually anything in there. Something big. Stay sharp. Over there. Two more survivors. Hey, what's going on here? Find the Veil Jumpers. Bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. They said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> this is so Why were they brutal. Bail jumpers? This is very, They're very metal. A sinkhole. But how? I like how most of the time the dialogue is just people pointing things out. Where a whole bunch of darkspawn live. Look, ah, survivors. More people. Must round up everyone. Must get them inside. I mean, they don't look right. Will be rewarded. Uh, where do we go? The light obstacle is impeding you. It can be destroyed when it's vulnerable pulsating state. Oh, it's there. That was easy. Melva! That's one of your fellow fail jumpers? Laura. Jahel, he's alive. Belara. We're we're going to help you. We'll get you down, Jahel. No, listen. The gods, the gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. <laughs> the gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. <laughs> the villagers, they said they needed power. <laughs> Valara, be careful. <laughs> I mean, there's a sufficient amount of intrigue so far. Like, I find myself wanting to know what the hell's going on, you know? This is another one of those that I can take out with my axe. That sounds close. That animation's a little weak. <laughs> like, it, it shrinks like a keyframe zooming, zooming out. A dragon in Dragon Age. A dragon here. No, 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 please. Hey. Oh, that is cool. I can't lie, that's a really cool looking dragon. Are we gonna fight this fucker? Blighted, dead, all of them. You well, not came all of them. The gods, didn't you? Didn't you? They were in my head, infecting my thoughts. They made me do it. Please help 
me. That sounds like Admiral Geral. Dr. Gavin Archer. Alright, so we got my first choice here. He wants me to help. Did did he kill those people? I'm interested to know. You betrayed your own town. No, I, I didn't. I was tricked. Manipulated. I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The gods told me to lure the Veil Jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gilanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. So either I'm querying the creation, a blighted village, or whether or not he lured the Veil Jumpers, which he said he did, I'm just gonna continue being a being a hard ass on this dude. All this the gold. The villagers, the veil jumpers, the blights everywhere. Demeter's crossing is dead because of your greed. Uh, I, I didn't know. You don't understand what it was like to hear those voices. The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? I say we leave him right here. But I'll die. The blights everywhere. What if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. All right, Ballara. <laughs> In his head, the influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook, you're a Grey Warden. You could pack him off to Weishaupt as punishment. This is a fairly consequential decision. We save him, we banish him to the Grey Wardens, or we leave him here. I don't know what... What is banishing him to the Grey Wardens, though? Like, again, still, I'm, I'm, I'm new to the lore. I'm trying to learn things as I go. I say we leave him. <laughs> but I do kind of want to know what the uh, banishing to the Grey Wardens means. Leave him here. I believe he approves. No! Wolves will get him in the night. Or, given the state of this place, something worse. Oh, oh! See, that's cool. I make... <laughs> Harding approves as well. She... Harding and Bellara want me to leave him. <laughs> but Nev's like, no! We're supposed to be the good guys. Uh... He can fight back. <laughs> Just... No. His village deserved better, I agree. The people of Demeter's crossing were depending on him. The least he can do is stay with them now. A steep price to pay. And we're the ones to choose it? Somebody has to. You don't understand the power they have. They show you what you crave. They speak to the darkness in your heart. No one can stand against that. Watch me. I won't be the last to surrender. I felt the evil. Let's go. No point arguing with a dead man. Oof. No. That is harsh. I find it funny that just out of nowhere, Ballara just has an absolute cold streak. The fade had opened, and the gods were free. Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire, their subjects, even their fellow gods, all gone. But they still had the power of the Blight, and corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the Blight, all of it, to rebuild their empire. As a path to power, it had its costs. And everyone would pay for it. That music's pretty cool. It does make me feel like it would it would fit better in the Mass Effect game, but I do like it. We have returned. Look sharp, elf. They, are they all elves? There are no other humans, dwarves, or what are the 
demon drain eye people. <laughs> the, the Kunari, I think. All right, let's have a little chat. Did you find our scouts? They did. I'm sorry. Elganon and Gilanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elgernon and Gilanane used them like puppets. I dare say it was a show of force. Oh, I know this character. They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan. And Claudia Black. Acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. Yeah, she's from the she previous game. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. It was both pleasure and necessity to help then. That is Claudia is Black. Now. Stopping Elganon and Gilanane shall require many hands. I love her so much. Vala Maldoran. Any Stargate fans will, will know her as Vala from that show. And she is Admiral's end in Mass Effect. Sorry, I was uh, taken back by that. I completely... What did you say, Morgan? It was both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Up in Elgar Nan and Gilan Nine, I'll require many hands. I have some other options. Oh, yeah, I'm going to ask who she is, because even though I'm aware of who she is, cause I, it, there's some things about Dragon Age that you just will know, even if you've never played... I, I still need to know more. Like, who, who are you, Morgan? So, who are you exactly? I have borne many appellations. Advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds, Friend to the Inquisition. My place here, however, is but a humble advisor on matters arcane. Witch of the Wilds? An honorific, born of rumor and exaggeration. The fearsome reputations of your opponents, however, are duly earned. This dark turn of events shall only become worse. Uh, yep, yeah, that does sound bad. Let's go with that one. I was hoping what we saw at Demeter's Crossing would be the worst of it. Tis but the start, I fear, and ignorance provides a feeble shield. Right. What can you tell us? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. Well, that's not happening. Not on my watch. Not if we stop it first. Ah, oh, the confidence of youth. You shall need a good deal more of it. I suppose you have some advice? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger, but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his, uh, well, he calls it the Lighthouse? Ah, yes, the legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithan. I can take a look at it, maybe fix it even. I know Illuvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Illuvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods, and they're killing people and blinding the world. How do we stand up against that? 
All right. <laughs> Melodramatic much? Malaria. Whatever it takes, step by step, we work together. You, we, yeah, we. I've got some Captain America vibes right here. None of us can do this alone, but we can stop them together. Alara, you're one of the only people in the world who can get our Illuvian working. Harding can track down the Lyrian dagger, and Nev can spot any clues we might miss that give us more information. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right. Let's move. Does that mean she's not joining us? Quest complete! Shadows crossing. After investigating the town of Deme Demeter, I Okay, Demeter, Demeter, Crossing. The team discovered the gods had laid waste to the town with blight. Worse, they tempted the mayor into betraying his people for gold. The team decided to leave the mayor to his fate. Because we're badass. No, seriously though, like... He deserves it. Our Lathan Forest. can do this, Lace. It's gotta be done. It's so hard not to hear Liara's voice now that I know that's who it is. Oh, so it's a little sad that Morrigan character doesn't come along with us. I, I like her. I mean, I like Claudia Black, but <laughs> to be fair, it, I, I, I did want Admiral Zen to join the Normandy at one point, even though she's an insufferable asshole, but... I have favoritism towards that voice actor. I should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. Ooh. Maybe you should have. We all carry blame. I know Harding's not gonna like that. She likes to be like, woe is me, you know? She likes to be allowed to brood. She doesn't like it when people try to spare her a little bit. But I agree though, we all carry blame. We were all part of it. Well, I mean, Bellara wasn't. <laughs> you didn't take the shot. I destroyed the statue. Oh no, Harding approves, Who good. Who do you want to blame more for the outcome? We all did what we thought was best in the moment. And look where it got us. Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, Solus is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. And Varric... Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. We're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting, you push for answers and action, while I can get stuck on questions forever. Well, we need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Everyone has a part to play. Varric brought us together because of our strengths. He wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths and rely on each other. I think I can manage that. Then let's find Solace's dagger. It'll be a start. Yay, we're all getting along. All right, so this is back where Solace started all this. Where we were talking about blame and whatnot. So presumably we came here because his dagger's around here somewhere. So let's have a look-see. Look. There's magic lingering in the spot. Strong. Old. The dagger was here. Something took it. Kind of reminds me of the light side, dark side uh, spots that you would find on the ground in the Knights of the Old Republic games. Darkspawn. Oh no, what if it took the dagger? Only one way to find out. 
Okay, so this is the blight, the zombies are the dark spawn. Alright. I don't like that animation. Oh well. It's a minor gripe. Nitpick. Big dark spawn coming right at us. Alright, time for combat. I don't think I was supposed to use that. That was a bit of a waste. Oh, that's a two swipe attack. Ah, crap. Oh, no, it's a three. All right, what do we got? I have still only two companions with me, right? We got Harding, we have Nev, which means without Balara, we have to be careful that we're not going to run into any healing problems. Although it does look like Harding has the ability to heal, but she's going to do that for now. Icebreaker for Nev. Oh, yeah, take that. Let's get this gate open. Look up there. That magical device. That magical device. Just assuming it's magical. Could be a, a fire hydrant for all we know. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. I gotta stop and look at this. Yes, please. More of this. That is just fantastic. Well, you certainly did a... You did make a pretty looking game, by the way. Oh, shit. Good work. Let's keep on the trail. That was it. something quintessentially fantasy about loot chests <laughs> works in a game like Dragon Age don't usually collect things do they they don't to my knowledge but Solus's dagger is special they might be drawn to it oh yeah I, I didn't really like that element of Mass Effect Andromeda I always think it's better in a Mass Effect game when you find things on uh, on corpses and and on, on like tables and stuff. Pretty much how we're how we're getting loot right here. It just the concept of loot chests doesn't belong in a sci-fi game. Look out! Here we go. Bet they never saw that coming. Nope, they certainly did because they were attacking us. <laughs> More dark spawn coming out of those pools. Yeah, I have seen people talking about the dialogue, and I don't think the dialogue's bad so much as it's just cheesy, right? It's, it's the tonal choice. Here we go. If previous Dragon Age games didn't have this tonal, like, element, then I could understand why people might not be a fan of it. To me, I have no context, so it, 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 it just fits, right? Because this is the game because it's the game I'm playing. You got it. Oh, we're gonna need to heal up the. Oh no! I wasted my. I, I, I panicked and I hit. I, I hit R twice. Behind you. Oh, what is he doing? Ah! Give me some action, girls. We oh, staggered. Get him! Easy peasy, but we have another one. That kind of sucks. Oh, we got two of them. <laughs> Get ready for a fight, ladies. I 
need some health potions. Is there anything lying around, maybe? Behind you. Keep him preoccupied. Oh, I thought I cheesed it for a second there, but they they climbed up. All right, Harding, give me some give me some heals. Do this again. Oh, it's not as good as Balara's. He's gonna die. Get him, get him, get him. How am I missing this guy? Oh. I'm getting heals all of a sudden. Where's, where's this coming from? Oh. Jump down. Take the heat, girls. That's one down. Try to throw my shield at these guys. Oh no, that's just the ground. Ah, crap! Uh oh! No, oh, get up! Up! Oh, Up! Oh. <laughs> oh, that was close. He's almost dead. Harding, do, do the thing. Yeah, her heals are nowhere near as good as Belara's. We leveled up though. Nice. I don't think these darkspawn took it. Let's keep looking. Let's level up. I got one point. I might as well finish the circle. What does it do? Gain precision after a successful perfect defense. Break through the blight. That's what I'm trying to do. Ah, there we go. It's like dynamite. Like a wick. Potions. Yeehaw. Oh, I don't think we're going to go that way. Dive. <laughs> Gotta get that somehow. Ah, nice. And there's probably another one. Yeah, I see it. It's right there. Ah, this is why we lift this up. Nicely done. I mean, it's gross, but you can't argue with results. Oh, I was about to say there must be another one, but here we go. I have to pick this up. And I'll take you from here. And we'll go put you over here. I see crate. I break. What's the guy doing up at top? Uh, is he a ranged dude? He is. Oh, no, he's not. I'll take care of this. Oh, this guy is just going down. Except, uh oh. I love my little drop kick. Uh oh. Oh, 
Oh, he's throwing stuff. Take out these ranged guys because they're gonna hurt us as we're trying to take out the main guy. Get him. Alright, there we go. Oh, that was a nice hit. Uh oh. Magical beams. Finished him off with a drop kick. Devices this time. I bet we'll need to direct beams at both of them. Well, let's give it a go. I obviously can't get to that one just yet. Um, oh, there we go. That's one. Now to find the other. Oh, we don't need to find the other. It's right there. We have to find the way to get to it, Rook. That's a different thing. How do we get to it? Yeah, get those boxes. Ah, here we go. I don't think this is the route. I think this is just to unlock something. Oh, we're very trusting of this collapsed steeple or whatever it is. Ah, oh, no! Close. I keep forgetting that F is my jump. Good work. Now let's see what's behind that gate. I'm gonna bet that there's some chests. Or one chest. Company, get ready. Okay, this is gonna be a big fight. You gotta use this ability more often, it's very useful as a warrior. Still on cooldown. He's a protected javelin, it means he's got shields. These guys don't have a lot of defense, though. As soon as you're getting close to them, it's just a matter of time before they're dead. The added measure. Ooh. <laughs> I love that drop kick so much. I did not successfully dodge. Time. Nice. Well, that's done. <laughs> I liked some of these characters. I don't hate Balara either. It's just this, it's just a little bit annoying. It's mostly the way she's written. She's written to be annoying, which why, you know, it's, it's not necessarily... I shouldn't just hate her for being annoying. I mean, how often do we all probably not realize how annoying we are being in public? It happens, you know, some, especially people like Valara, they're really eager to... They, they, they like to talk, they like to speak, they, they, they're, they're fascinated with, it, with things. Being super excitable in and of itself isn't a bad character trait. Just because it, it might be, be a little gnawing. But I hope it still has the dagger. Let's get him. Oh, that's obviously something. Whew. So we definitely have a boss here. Having all of these uh, these pots lying around is proof of that. can we do? I think adrenaline rush for you, but we're going to slow everything down and see what we can get out of this boss. In fact, we've got this now. Oh, eat 
Making the rest of us look bad, Rook. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I actually, for, for for real, thought she was a goner there. I can hear it. The song of the stone. What is happening to me? What the? Seems like a pretty useful ability. You're moving those rocks. I don't know. I don't know how to control it. Well, you better figure out fast. Primers and detonators. Combine primers and detonators to trigger detonations. Mobility is applied. To yeah, so we already know what this is. Combination. She's got. So she has this new ability now. That's nice. And that will detonate combo with Icebreaker. Let's see it. Pretty cool. I blocked that. Just gonna go get this potion. You guys have got this handled for now. It's like a little wave battle. Oh crap. I did not see them coming. Nev slumped the. Ah, oh, she's still on cooldown. I need her to slow down some time for me. <laughs> oh crap! Ah, I'm falling. I'm good to go. Note to self: stay away from the edge. Oh, that guy is done. So is he. Ho oh ho! Oh man, it's not over. Come on. Another one of these bad boys. Oh, I missed him. I was too far away from my kick. It's kind of useful having this cliffside to fight on. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, crap. These guys hit hard. Holy. Ah, oh, shit. Ranged attackers. I need heals. <laughs> Heal me. I'm so dead. Okay. Oh no, I hope my last save is right here. Maybe? Ah, crap. Five hours later. We're already doing a little bit better. Six hours later. And this guy hits hard. This is crazy. Oh! 
Oh, crying out loud. Get out of the way! All the health on this dude. Oh, oh! <laughs> that wasn't good. This is an intense fight. Get out of the way. Come on, ladies, finish him off. I'm gonna wait for that combo. Ah! Uh oh. See, I kind of need the soothing potion. He's almost dead. Eight hours later. Come on, one more hit and he's down. There we go. Nicely done. That that dagger. Woo, what that was intense. Do to me? Not sure, but we should get back. We'll talk it through there. We got the dagger, though. Your pet has failed, sister. And now the magic of the Dreadwolf's dagger is hidden from me. Fen Harel meddles once again. If his dagger is beyond our reach, we must craft another. Made of red lyrium. Kind of creepy. Her character design is very, very creepy. Very Cthulhu esque. Oh, we're back at the lighthouse. We'll go do some chatting. You said something took you over. Mm, something like that? And it's still with you? Y yes. I think so. It can't be possession, can it? I doubt it. Dwarves can't be possessed. They aren't connected to the Fade. Solus's dagger triggered this event. But how? Or why? I'm sorry, Lace. I wish I had answers. It's alright. Talking has helped. And hey, we got the dagger, right? Mission accomplished. Indeed. Dwarves have never used magic. We can't. Well, I mean, clearly you can, or you can now. It's all just weird. <laughs> yeah. No, I, uh, I don't like this. We're friends, so I'm going to be honest. It feels wrong. Bad. Really? Two elven gods escaped the Fade, and now this? What if it's connected? Okay, I know we need to be wary, but... I think this is a good thing. I feel... connected. To... To the... To the stone. Dwarves call ourselves children of the stone. Some of us have what we call stone sense. Those that have it can feel caves, lyrium veins, and faults in the rock. I wasn't one of them. Maybe... The dagger unlocks something hidden. But... But this is more than the stone sense I know. You don't like what's happened. But it's not going to be a problem for us working together. Is it? Ooh, I have a romance option. Just you. Just make sure to aim. Keep an eye on you. Must admit, I'm not really into Harding. Uh, he's stubborn. I guess that's a dwarf trait, but I don't know. I think we're uh, we're probably going to stay away from that for my first time playthrough uh, from romancing this character. That being said, I want to tell her what she needs to hear right now, and I do trust her. I trust you have all this handled. You always have things handled. I just hope I can use this magic to do what's right. I have faith. I'll send word to the Grey Wardens about the blight we saw. And then I'm gonna lie down. 
and we need more answers about what the gods are planning. I'll find some place to relax and try to reach Solus in the Fade. Good luck. Try not to let him get to you. It feels like we're finally making some progress. And I'm not sure what my new magic's about, but I know it feels right. If you say so. As we With said, their eyes on the I trust her. Wolf and the gods he'd set loose. They couldn't see their own personal demons coming to haunt them. Harding told herself it felt right. She was connected to the stone, to the lost titans, and all of dwarven history with its buried secrets. How could that be anything but good? That's kind of the apprehension I had, Varric. Quest complete the Singing Blade. The team returned to Solus's ritual site, hoping to find the Lyrium dagger that Solus lost. They pried the ancient artifact away from the Darkspawn ghouls that were drawn to it, but touching the dagger has had a profound effect on Harding, seemingly rekindling a forgotten link between her and the stone. What this means for Harding remains to be seen. How's everyone- oh. That's that's the get that's the galaxy map. That's the way back. But also, Lara's here. Hello. Oh, Brooke. Hi. Hello. I've never seen an alluvium like this before. Not intact, anyways. Cool looking. Fascinating. Oh, is that it? Wait. If if the magic is feeding back into itself, this thing's self-stabilizing. Sorry, didn't mean to yell. Man, people are just gonna rip this character to pieces. Soon as Illyrium cures, I should be able to fix this. Not entirely sure what will happen when I do, but I can see the flaw in the resonance. So whatever it's supposed to do, it's not currently doing. Is this techno babble in my fantasy video game? What the hell? This isn't Star Trek. Didn't Nev want to talk to you? It'll be done when it's done. Can't rush this kind of thing, Rook. How fitting we Sorry, annoy her Rook. in return. I'm just in the middle of some calibrations. Oh, she said the thing. She said the thing. <laughs> Has anyone Can't caught rush that? This kind of thing, Rook. Didn't Nev want to talk to you? Yeah. Okay, that's it. That's so funny. Mass Effect Easter egg. I like it. Meditation chamber. Therefore, Harding must have put my pack here. It makes sense. Better place to sleep than the infirmary. Guess I can spare a few moments to unpack my things. Oh, this is my quarters. Yay! Place Varric's shaving mirror. Varric and his life lessons. <laughs> I asked him how we were supposed to stop Solus, and he gave me this. Take a long, hard look at it, kid. It'll always show the face of a hero who can get it done. Nice story, but that's not me. There are two options in gender identity option. Interesting. It just don't, I, not being transgender, I don't connect with any of this stuff. I, I, I thought, I thought you love who you are would imply. You, you can say that even if you, if you, you know, if you don't identify as the gender you were assigned at birth. Uh, I guess we'll just, we just won't go down that, that avenue. Tattoo options, on the other hand, however. And options related to tattoos. Choosing one will conclude the conversation. Alright. <laughs> I look good. <laughs> yeah. A damn good looking hero, if I do say so. That's that's tantamount to saying that I that I love who I am. That's from a cis perspective. The peddler gave me this after I saved his caravan from bandits. He told me nobles think of ruling like a game of chess, that each move determined what mark humanity will leave on the world. You love traveling, so do I. The gods won't care that the work too focused on. 
You love traveling. So do I. I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna make that connection. Obviously, this this person means something to Rook. He had fancy silks from Orlay, statuettes from the wilds down south. I could have listened to stories all night about places he'd been. Now I'm getting to see some of those places myself. We are, in fact, getting around. Every time I look at this, I can hear that little girl thanking me for saving her village from Darkspawn. She said that since the Grey Wardens didn't have griffins anymore, I could have hers. If I hadn't been there, I'd never have met Varric. I never had to deal with the First Warden complaining I ignored orders. <laughs> I suppose it was fair. Ah, oh, fuck that. I made the right call. I am, uh, cocky, at least. Yeah, it doesn't matter what the First Warden thinks. There's a little girl alive today yeah. because I attacked instead of waiting for reinforcements. Exactly, that's all that matters. This is another Mass Effect Easter egg, if you ask me. We don't have to actually feed these fish, though, it doesn't look like. Meditation upon the use of blades. Must have read this thing cover to cover a dozen times during weapons training. I just realized I'm talking to myself. For all the good it did. No, we're a good fighter. No, it was hard, but worthwhile. I'm a good fighter. I've proven that. The number of times I banged my head against this book trying to make the concepts work. But that training has kept me alive so far. Right. That's better. Now, how do I connect to Solus? Just sleep or relaxing? Maybe if I clear my mind. What the fuck happened there? Back so soon. It must have been worse than I had thought. Hello, Dreadwolf. Ah, but perhaps I am mistaken. You may be here to correct me, to tell me that my concerns were unfounded. Perhaps nothing escaped as you stopped me from... What was it? Covering the world with demons? He remembered that I accused him of wanting to destroy the world. I mean, stop obfuscating, you know it did. As you clearly already knew, something did escape. Elgnan and Gillanane. Blighted. Thank you for letting me know. You'll recall I also said that you don't get to sit back and look smug. What else could I be doing? I need to know what the gods are planning. You are asking for knowledge no mortal in this world is privy to. If I am to share it with you, I need to know what makes you the right person to lead the fight against Algernon and Gelanane. Nothing, but I'm here. I mean, it's, it's the truth. I also like... That I, I'm cocky in some respects, but I'm also uh, I'm I'm very self-aware. Also, kind of funny. One of those. I mean, I, I'm what you got, man. Someone has to do something. Yeah. I may not be the right person for this job, but I'm the only one left. So your call to action is that any attempt is better than none. Back in the Grey Wardens, I was with a group of recruits outside this village, dealing with the Darkspawn incursion. Our orders were to wait for reinforcements, but we knew that by the time they arrived, everyone in that village would be dead. So, you led your team of recruits in any way, collapsing the tunnel and saving the village. How do you know that? You helped Varric pursue me for the better part of a year. It would have been foolish not to learn about who was hunting me. Then you know that if someone has to make a call, I'll do it. I suppose I was not so different when I started. Started what? My rebellion against the Evanuris. The Elven Gods, as you call them. They wish to reclaim their dominion over this world. To accomplish that, they will need two things. First, the Blight. What exists in this world is a bare fragment of its power. The rest is imprisoned. Until they release it. Wow. 
Why blight the world? It's bigger than what we have. It didn't escape. Why blight the world? I, I kind of want to inquire. I don't understand. Elginon and Gillenane were elves like you, right? Why would they want to blight the world? It is my fault. As the Dread Wolf, I was a thorn in their side. When my efforts weakened their grasp on the elven people, they grew frustrated, then desperate, and turned to the blight. Once the corruption took hold of them, they were blind to its horror. It was just another source of power for them. Now they would blight the world without hesitation and call us backward and foolish for opposing them. Oh, I can actually say all of these. The blight didn't escape with the gods. Elganan and Gelanane escaped largely empty-handed, fortunately. Most of the blight is still trapped in the prison I created ages ago. So what we saw at that village, that's them not at full strength. Correct. One more option. It's bigger than what we have. The rest of the blight is imprisoned? There's more than what's in the world already? Yes. Centuries ago, the Magisters of Devinter opened my prison. A tiny fragment of the Blight escaped. That fragment grew beneath the earth and led to the Blights that have swept across the world. However terrible the Blight is now, it is a mere fraction of what we will see if its full power is unleashed. Oh, then we stop them. It's a nice Renegade Shepherd perspective. I'll stop them. Then we shut down whatever they need to do to free the Blight. They will need to pierce the veil to reach the Blight's prison. My Lyrium Dagger is one of the few artifacts capable of doing so. We've already recovered it from the ritual site. Excellent. Then they will have to make their own. That will give you time. You said the gods needed two things, and the Blight is the first. What's the second? Follow us. They have called themselves gods. And what is a god without worshippers to sing their praises? You think they want the elves back? I don't think the elven people will bend a knee to blighted murderous monsters. Agreed. Elganan and Gilanane care little for the elves. They will find worshippers among those hungry for power. Tyrants and bullies. The cruel and the corrupt, who fear their own vulnerability and seize any chance to feel strong. If you hunt them, they will lead you to Elganan and Gilanane. So, oh, hunting those dudes he just mentioned will lead me to Elganan and Gilanan. Uh, that's not enough, I guess? No, I mean... I, I suppose that's kind of belligerent for the sake of it. Uh, he's told me, he's given me a lead, so uh, realistically I should just say thanks. Well, I think that's where we're going to go with that one. Thank you. I'll go poke at the cruel and the corrupt. And we'll see what we find. I guess it's all- Veravas, the Lighthouse Saluvian can take you anywhere, if you master its secrets. Have you done so? Not yet, but we've got one of the Veil Jumpers working on it. She'll get it sorted, and we'll see how it goes. Yes, I suppose we will. And when you speak with Varric, please tell him that I regret what happened. It's, I guess it kind of shows where I align with him, like what, whether I like him or not, or whether I'm indifferent to him, or whether I'm, I'm still suspicious, standoffish towards Solus. But now let's go talk with Varric. So Solus told the truth about the guards. You heard. It's bad, Varric. If you'd seen Demeter's crossing, the team needs to act fast. And it can't do that with me leading from a bed. You've got to take point on this. I mean, I can't replace you, man. I can't do what you do. I've barely been holding it together in the short time you've been out. You don't need to do what I do. You just need to get it done. Rook, when I put this team together, what did I look for? A detective to find the Dreadwolf and a scout to get us the lay of the land. Exactly the people he'd expect me to recruit. Disciplined. Predictable. And then there's you. Remember when we first met, kid? I watched you lead a few misfit recruits and push back one of the biggest darkspawn hordes I've ever seen. Just needed to find the right strategy. 
and no other warden found it. You stopped that horde. Had to drop a town hall on it, but you've got a knack, kid. For what? Finding a way through the wildest shit I've ever seen. With a plan that no one expects. On the best day of his life, Solus wouldn't see you coming, Rook. And don't worry. I'll still be here to talk if you need me. So I'm really lucky at the thing. That, that's, that's the whole idea behind the character of Rook. There is something. Demeter's crossing was awful. While we were there, we found one survivor, the mayor. You left him to fend for himself. Not everyone was happy about my decision. We're just starting out and I'm already losing their trust. The key to earning the team's trust isn't to only make decisions everyone agrees with. It's showing the team that they can tell you whatever's on their mind, even if they think you're full of crap. And know you'll listen. Did Nev tell you about me talking to Solus in the Faith? I had some good arguments with Chuckles back in the day. I can't imagine being stuck with him in my head. But how are you feeling about it? <laughs> I mean, he is. He's an asshole. Your old friend is kind of an asshole, Farrick. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to be a fly on the wall while the two of you get into it. Solus fought a rebellion against Elgernon and Gilanane. He didn't want to be a god. But he's also a lot older and more powerful than any of us. He looks at us like we're toddlers. So how do I deal with him? Well, act like you're as smart as he is and he'll be insufferable. Show him you respect his age and experience. And he'll remind you he's just a man. Honestly, pick whichever of those pisses you off less. He also asked me to tell you that he regrets what happened. Hurting you, I mean. Chuckles is sentimental. He could burn the world down, and the thing that would make him cry is a single flower with blackened petals. When I took over at the ritual site, I had to make a call on who came with me to knock over that statue. It was the first decision I made leading this team, and Harding got hurt because of it. You made a decision with the best information you had. Sometimes you do that, and people end up hurt. Or worse. What would you have done? What would I have done? Probably gotten myself killed and failed to stop the ritual if you hadn't stepped in. A good leader isn't someone who never makes mistakes. It's someone who admits when they make one. That's how you earn their trust. It's a cliche, but it's a nice one. <clears throat> I'll let you get some rest. You're gonna be fine, Rook. Uh, hey, one last thing before you go. I've been racking my brain thinking of contacts who might help us with these gods. You got any ideas? Nothing. But being a leader isn't about having all the answers yourself. It's about knowing who does. Nev has connections to a whole world that Harding and I barely know. Might be worth talking to her. Will do. That's my next stop. Thanks, Varric. Anytime. I'm liking most of these characters so far. Go see what the others are up to. I mean, I wasn't, Varric. I was, I was already halfway down the corridor, but... <laughs> Okay. Ah, there it is. Spectre of Battles passed. I do want to equip uh, my new little goodie, though. Toldar, it's a tunnel. Vaden Gar Velos Atreidum. But Velos Atreidum is, is nothing like it's a tunnel. It's a tunnel. I remember. After you touch the dagger, the prayer, the proclamation, is a tunnel. What's with that smile? What, what exactly are you proclaiming? They don't remember. No one remembers. We don't even know what we lost. Oh, I can continue to flirt with her even after I've refused the first time? Interesting. I like that approach, because maybe the character endears themselves towards you, right? Um, still 
Kind of a no on that front, though. Start making sense. Not gonna be a douche, though. I'll be honest, however. Harding? Are you in there? I'm sorry, what? What does Isatunol actually mean? Isatunol is an affirmation, a statement of existence, of... of being. It means, I am here. But no, not... not I. I is singular, but it isn't. We either. Hmm. We is multiple, but also separate. What? <sighs> Isatunol is the eternal hymn that encompasses all time. All spaces. I am, we are, this and that, here, there, now, and forever. <laughs> if you say so. Okay, whatever works for you. Words aren't enough. It's, it's hard to put into words something you just feel. It's hard, eh? I'm certain Isatunal describes how we, the dwarves, once were. But none of the books say anything about it. None of the histories are right. If we forgot something so important, what else did we forget? I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't expect you to have an answer. Th thanks for letting me babble, by the way. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. Ah, she approves. I like that we get along. The whole crew gets along. There's not really much interpersonal strife yet. I think I have to change my appearance separately, right? I have to go and do it. Oh, we have a helmet, though. <laughs> Look at that thing! Holy! I, l I do like the graphics, the art design, etc. in this game so far, but some of the some of the design choices on a, on a lot of the outfits is horrendous. I'm gonna make sure we don't get launched into another mission, though, because we're probably getting close to the end of this episode. Speak with Nev, and we'll see what's happening thereafter. Hey, Nev. Hi, Wisps. Yeah, they're still here, but you're here for leads. You want allies to go after the gods. I've got places to look, if we can get anywhere but Arlathan. Galara's working on it. What have you got? Let's start with the angles we know. The gods are corrupt magic personified. Who do we hire to fight that? First, the Antivan Crows. You want to fight gods with assassins? Not just any assassin. Their most feared mage killer, the demon of Virantium. Tell me more. Working with a feared mage killer doesn't bother you. If he doesn't have a contract out on me, it's not a problem. I uh, think we'll get along, maybe? Uh, <laughs> supposedly, these people who I've been with for maybe a day or two know me better than, better, better than I know myself. You think a trained killer will like us? What's not to love? The demon got his nickname taking out blood mages and venatori. From everything I've learned, the reputation was earned. I never uncovered his real name, and there's been fewer stories the last few years, but the crows would know. I can set a meeting with their bosses. Good work, Nev. This is great. Thanks, Nev. It's what I'm here for. You said the crows were first. What's next? A trip home. Back to Minrathus. Capital city and heart of Tevintir. An empire of mages that knows a thing or two about corrupt magic. Tevintir authority... Won't help and can't be trusted. Which is why we talk to the Shadow Dragons. They're a resistance group that fights slavers, blood magic, and imperial corruption. They've got eyes and ears everywhere, including mine. If the gods enter the Empire, we might get something. Besides, I owe them an update. Lots of dialogue options. Are they all mages? Tevinter might prize its mages, but the shadows accept anyone. We've all got a stake in the cause. Can we trust them, though? Sure we can trust these Shadow Dragons? You've got a better shot with them than most in the city. So we talk to the Crows in Antiva and the Shadow Dragons in Minrathus. I wouldn't mind checking in on my neighborhood, either. If Balara's ready for us. Two yeah. missions coming up, then. Should check how things are going. 
Wardrobe. Do your thing. Aha, there we go. Oh, what do we got? I got Paragon of Leadership or Spectre of Battle Past. Ah, I can wear them both. I thought there was a helmet. Oh, wait, yeah, we're not on helmet, are we? There it is. All right. Looking good. I guess we'll call it there for episode two. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, check back for episode three. We're going to move on through the Alluvian and go check out these mages that Nevers put us in contact with. I'll see you there.